Hi everyone. Thank you for joining Azure Cosmos TV conference. I am Anita Adisimili, Principal PM Manager. We are here to talk about near real-time analytics on your Cosmos DB data using mirroring in Microsoft Fabric. In the recent years, we have seen tremendous advancements in AI and generative AI. These bring new opportunities to your businesses like never before. You can build much more personalized customer experiences, look at your business data contextually, and be able to react to events that impact your business in real time. But to be able to do this, you need access to your business data as it is landing, not hours or days later. Analytics and AI is only as good as your data. When we look at your organizations, we see that many of your organizations struggle with data silos. You have departments using different data storage and analytics solutions. It is very difficult to move data across these and analyze it together. We also see tremendous complexity when you're processing this data. You have many services that are put together as bespoke solutions, and it is very difficult to manage security and governance for these. To address these challenges, we have built Microsoft Fabric, a unified data analytics platform. Fabric brings together analytics, AI, and BI solutions under one umbrella. All of these services have the same experiences and same architecture. You will be able to use the one SaaS lake, that is Microsoft One Lake, to bring in all of your organizational data. Once your data lands in one lake, it automatically becomes available to all the analytics engines without further data movement. The data in one lake is stored in open source Delta Parquet format, making it truly available to all other services that can process this data. You can set your security and governance one time in one place on Microsoft One Lake. Now, to really bring all of your data into Fabric, we need to provide ways for you to bring this data into the Fabric ecosystem. We have introduced multi-cloud shortcuts in the past year to not only Azure services, but also AWS, GCP, and Dataverse. With shortcuts, the data does not move into one lake. Rather, Fabric connects seamlessly to the services and runs queries against this data directly. But when we look at your data estate, you still have critical systems such as databases and data warehouses that power your mission-critical applications. These systems are sensitive to performance and latency. And so to not impact these with analytical queries, most organizations have ETL pipelines where you bring your data into central data warehouse either hourly or nightly. This is highly complex to manage, difficult to put together, and more importantly, you are not getting analytics in real time. We cannot build shortcuts to these data sources because we do not want to run analytical queries directly against these sources. And so to solve this challenge, we are introducing mirroring in Microsoft Fabric. You can now seamlessly ingest data from your data warehouses and databases into Fabric into Microsoft One Lake in near real time with zero ETL. Mirroring is now available for Azure Cosmos DB, Azure SQL DB, and Snowflake. We also have Azure SQL Server, MySQL, PostgreSQL, Teradata, MongoDB, SAP, etc. in the roadmap for this upcoming year. Now, mirroring brings all of your data estate together by bringing in all of your data sources along with the data that's coming in through shortcuts, the data already in Fabric, you can now truly unify your data estate. Now let's see how mirroring works. You can set up mirroring on your existing databases in Azure. Once you turn on mirroring, your data in Cosmos DB databases or SQL databases is automatically replicated into Microsoft One Lake 
in delta parquet format. At the time of setup of mirroring, initial snapshot is taken and then all inserts, updates, deletes that come in after that are automatically replicated. Now, once the data is in one lake, all of the analytical engines in Fabric can directly access this data without further data movement. You can also run queries directly on one lake, protecting your source databases from the performance impact of these analytical queries. Now, Cosmos DB does not use analytical store or change feed as source CDC for this solution. We are using an internal technology, and so continuous backup is a prerequisite. The replication is done in such a way that there is no impact to the performance or the request units of your transactional workloads. Let's take a quick look at how mirroring works. Here, I'm in Azure portal for Cosmos DB account for detail order processing. I can see all of the containers that have information on order status, items per order, product and customer details. Let's analyze this data in Fabric. To get started, let's navigate to Data Warehouse and let's click on the Azure Cosmos DB database. Now, if you do not see these mirrored tiles, it may mean that you need to enable mirroring in your tenant admin settings. Let's give this mirrored database a name and click Create. Now we have to choose the source account and database to connect to. I can either create a new connection by giving a Cosmos DB endpoint URL or I can pick one of the existing connections. I'm going to pick an existing connection to the account that we just looked at. Now I have to choose the database that I would like to mirror. Let's pick the orders DB database and mirror this. At this point, all the data in the containers of orders DB database is getting mirrored into Microsoft One Lake in Delta Parquet format. Now this is going to take a few seconds to a minute, so let me show you the source database view that we have built into Fabric. Here in your mirror database, you can look at all the containers in your Cosmos DB account. We have really built the Data Explorer experience as it is from Azure Portal into Fabric. We've built this as a convenience, so you can browse your containers and execute queries against them without navigating away from Fabric. You can only read the data, you cannot write to your containers from here. And any operations done here will accrue RU charges in your Azure. Now let's monitor the replication status. We can see that the containers are still running. Each of the containers are represented as a table in Fabric. Once a replication is done, we should see the total rows replicated as updated and the last refresh time updated. Let's refresh this. It may take up to 60 seconds for this to reflect. So we can see that the data is already replicated. So we are now ready to analyze this data. Let's navigate to SQL Analytics Endpoint in Mirror Database. Here, we can see all of the containers as tables. We can see the schema. And we can run select top 100 queries. Let's write a new query to do a cross container query. So this is joining the data across different Cosmos DB containers, running complex aggregation functions like sum. Running this directly against your Cosmos DB database would be impactful to the performance and cost. But now with fabric mirroring, this query runs directly against one lake. And as you can see, it's very fast. Fabric has invested in many performance improvements to process the data in Delta format very efficiently. Now we can also, not only with mirroring, not only do we create the initial snapshot, but we continuously incrementally replicate all of the Cosmos DB data into Fabric. To show you an example here, we have a special offers container and we're gonna look at the records in this. So we have about 7,500 records in special offers container. I have an app here that's going to insert 500 records. So let's run this app. So now once the app is done, 
we should see 8,000 records. So I'm navigating to Azure portal and let's do a count here. So we can see that we have 8,000 records inserted. Let's navigate back to Fabric. It is going to take us 30 seconds to a minute for this to reflect in Fabric. The data gets replicated in near real time into Microsoft One Lake. So now you can see that in less than 30 seconds, all of these records that we just inserted are replicated into Fabric seamlessly. Now, once your data is in Fabric, you can also join this data with any other data in Fabric. Some, some of our data is in SQL database, and we've already mirrored this data into Fabric. So now we're going to join the retail information in Cosmos DB with that of the store sales information in SQL. To do this, I'm going to navigate to Warehouses and pick the SQL Mirror DB. And so this is seamlessly pulling the data for SQL alongside Cosmos DB. In both cases, this is the data replicated into one lake. Now we can write a simple query that directly joins the SQL data with Cosmos DB data on filters such as order status and ordered by. And we can see that this runs really fast as it is running against the data in one leg. We can also select this query and visualize these results right away. With a single click, now we are able to build Power BI reports. The Power BI report here is picking the data from one leg in direct lake mode. And it is going to pick up any changes that are going to land into SQL DB or Cosmos DB seamlessly. You can also analyze this data that's in your mirrored Cosmos DB and SQL DB in Lakehouse as shortcuts and use Spark Engine from notebooks. You can really join the data across Lakehouses, Warehouses, mirroring, and shortcuts, truly giving you unified data estate for your businesses. Now I want to talk about pricing for mirroring. We are really making it cost effective to build your analytic solutions using Fabric. With Fabric mirroring, there is no charges for using the compute for replication. The compute used for replication is not allocated out of your Fabric capacity. Also, the storage used in one lake for your mirrored data is free for each terabyte of your allocated Fabric capacity. Which, which means that if you have F2 capacity in Fabric, you get up to two terabytes free. If you have F16 capacity, you get up to 16 terabytes free for mirror data. Some standard charges do apply, like if you use standard Fabric services, such as lake houses, querying in a Fabric, or using Power BI reports, standard charges do apply for using these. Continuous backup feature also will accrue standard charges if you're specifically enabling it for mirroring. If this feature is already enabled for your Cosmos DB account, there are no extra charges for using mirroring. Now I want to end the session by talking about how Azure Synapse Link works with mirroring. Mirroring does everything that Azure Synapse Link does, but better. First, mirroring supports open source format, Delta, that can be used with many engines that understand the format, that is, services like Azure Databricks, Azure History Insight, et cetera. You can seamlessly join the data that's landing in Fabric with all of the data in there. And Fabric has invested a lot of effort into making it very efficient to process queries against Delta format. So you will see massive improvements on analytics queries, both in SQL and Spark in Fabric. Next, if you're using Azure Synapse Link on your accounts, you can enable mirroring alongside Azure Synapse Link. Change feed can also be enabled along with mirroring. All these three features work independent of each other. If you're using Azure Synapse Link for your production workloads, please continue to do so. We will continue to support them. Mirroring will support production workloads at GA. Thank you so much for your time, and we hope that you try mirroring feature.